Okay, this is an Amazon Fire tablet, uh, seven inch from 2019. Uh, this is the second one I bought. I bought one for my daughter a couple of months ago. And you know, they're normally 50 bucks, but when you get them on sale, you can get them for about 30 bucks. They are not the best tablet in the world, but they're really good for about 30 bucks, as long as you clear out the software, because all the Amazon stuff on there just makes it run horrible. So hopefully this was gonna show you how to clean it out and root it and all that. So first thing I need to do, I need to do a factory reset, because I've already cleared this one out. So uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to hold down the power button and click restart. And once it starts, I'm restarts, I'm gonna hold down the volume down button until I get a recovery menu. At least till the Amazon screen comes up. Give it a second here, and here we go, we're in recovery. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to the second option here using the volume keys. I'm gonna go down, or the third option, wipe data, factory reset. I'm gonna hit the power button, then I'm gonna use the volume keys to go to yes, power button, and it shouldn't take very long to do. Okay, now I am going to hit the power button to boot system now and we should have a fresh clean system. Now, if you go to gitlab.com forward slash melex1000, I have a project there called Amazon Fire 7 2019 Notes and, fi and Files. It's a very long name. There should be a link in the description of this video. If you have trouble finding it, just go again to gitlab.com forward slash melex1000 is my name, and you should be able to search through my projects there, and I don't have a whole lot that have the word Amazon in them. So once this starts up, it's going to be just like you bought it new. And what we're going to do is we are going to quickly root it and then clean out the packages. So again, if you go to the GitLab page and download this project, all the files you need are there, including the files to get you uh, root access. But the first thing we need to do is once this boots is we're going to go in and enable developer mode, just like you do on any other Android device. And that way we can get a ADB shell from our desktop and copy a file over that will give you root access. Because you can use ADB to get a shell on the device and disable a lot of the packages, um, but the issue there is there's a lot that it won't let you disable. Um, also, I'm going to disable the packages rather than uninstall them, because I found that a lot of them, if you uninstall, they kind of reinstall themselves, where if you just disable them, that's not really an issue. Uh, so right here, I'm gonna click English, I'm also gonna show you that you don't need an Amazon account to activate this tablet. Let me real quick here connect to my Wi-Fi. It says I'm connected. There we go, just a second. So when you start this up, it's gonna look for an update here. It shouldn't take too long. And it's going to want you to log into an Amazon account. Uh, but you don't have to do that. If you go in like you're going to log into an Amazon, I mean, you could go create an Amazon account, but I really don't want this tablet linked to an Amazon account. But I found if you go into it like you're going to sign up and you exit out and you do that two or three times, it will let you skip that step. But it doesn't give you that option uh, right out the bat because they really want you to link it to your Amazon account to try to sell you stuff. And again, these tablets for $30 are really good but when you first get them, they are just ad machines, ads popping up left and right. So again, we're gonna get in there and we're gonna disable everything except for one or two packages from Amazon. And the thing is we're even gonna disable the keyboard uh, and we're gonna disable the launcher. Uh, but luckily, if you download my project uh, from GitLab, we have APKs to replace that stuff. So here we go. So it's wanting me to log into an Amazon account. It says, if you're new to Amazon, you can click here. So I'll click start. And it's gonna load up this orange screen. I'm wanting me to put in my country and region. And what I'm just gonna do is I'm going to hit uh, cancel. And I think if I click that again and go cancel, let me do it one more time and cancel. And then now, a not, not now button. I'm pretty sure that wasn't there before. Uh, let's see, right there, it says not now and then we'll skip registration. And now the tablet's ready to go, but again, it's got all this Amazon junk on here. <clears throat> and we're gonna clear out pretty much all that, even some of the, the calendars and stuff like that and replace them with other APKs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into settings here. And if I remember correctly, again, this is the same on pretty much every Android device. Uh, we're gonna go down to device options and we're gonna go down to about. Fire tablet, and here we're gonna click on, I think, the build number. 
do that a bunch. Is it the build number? Device model. There, actually, it's the serial number. Click on that seven times. And now you have developer options. Sorry about that. It's something I do all the time, but I do it without thinking. So when I think about it, developer options. And we're going to turn on developer options. OK. And then we're going to make sure that we have USB debugging on. OK. Now, Everything else is done from our desktop. I'm going to, I already have it connected to my desktop, so it's already seeing that device. I'm gonna say, always allow this desktop, okay? And now, on my desktop, I'm, I've already cloned that project from GitLab, and what I'm gonna do now is, real quick, uh, I have some notes in here. So, if we list out our files, you can see that we have a file called cleanup, which we can cat out, which is what we're gonna use next to disable the packages. So these are all packages I found that you do not need uh, for this to run properly. Now, if I cat out notes, there's lots of notes I have on this device, but really we only care about the top part of it, so I'm gonna just head out that file. So at the top, you can see here that right now, if I run this command, I can ADB, I can push this file to this directory, and this is a temp directory. They call it a temp directory, but it never actually gets wiped on, out on an Android device. But I'm gonna push this executable file to the device, and then I'm gonna ADB shell to get a shell there, and I'm just going to copy this command to get to that directory. And once we're there, we can list out these files. You can see here's the mtk-su file that we just copied. Again, this is in the project that you download from GitLab. And we're going to make it executable with change mod 755 and the name of that file. And now, if you run that, you should get a root shell. And I say should, sometimes it does not work. It did work that time. If it didn't work, just do it again. I've only had it once or twice where it didn't work. Uh, but now that file's on there. Anytime you want root, you just have to go there and run that file. Uh, and if you don't want root on the device anymore, you just remove that file. You want it again, you copy it over. Now that we have that file, I'm gonna split my screen here. So the top half up here, this is the tablet. The bottom half down here is my desktop computer, again, with the files we have in here. I'm gonna cut out uh, cleanup. And actually, let me just go ahead and head clean up and start off with that. So real quick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to list out how many packages I have. So or, or list all the packages. So those are all the packages we have. And if we pipe that into WC space dash L, it will give us a count. So right now there's 186 packages installed on this device that it came with, okay? And what we're going to do if we list, if we do the same command, with dash D, it will list all disabled, which we haven't disabled any yet, but we're gonna disable a bunch. And you'll see how much Amazon stuff on there you don't need that we're going to remove. So real quick, here is the command again, PM list packages. So PM is your package manager for Android, and that's on all Android devices. We're gonna list all our packages. Then we're gonna grep for every single one that has the word Amazon in it, except for uh, ones that say Fire OS, Amazon Fire OS, because if you remove that, the tablet won't boot all the way. So we're going to do that, then we're going to cut and just get the name of the packages, and then one by one, we're going to disable those packages. So there's a lot of them. And if I just take that command, copy and paste it in here and hit enter, it should start going. And one by one, it's gonna disable. It's disabling the Amazon platform, the Amazon photos, the Amazon contacts, the unified share good reads, uh, a uh, Kindle application. And again, it's just gonna go through, as you can see, all of these Amazon applications that we do not need, including there it's disabling the Fire Launcher. We're gonna replace it with another launcher. Again, we're also gonna be disabling the default Amazon keyboard. Um, so make sure you have another launcher and keyboard ready to go, which we do, which is provided in the project uh, that you downloaded from my GitLab page. And again, you can see how much stuff is on this tablet we do not need. And that's just the stuff named Amazon. We're gonna go through things with the Kindle name uh, and then another Fire OS because um, there is a Fire OS package we don't need. And then there's some things like the Android provider calendar, that is the uh, free application that comes with the Android um, operating system. It is an open source, source open source, open source uh, package, um, and there's a few things on there like that. 
which you could leave, but I'm gonna replace them with some preferred applications that I have uh, that I've gotten from the F-Droid repositories, and we're also gonna install F-Droid. F-Droid, if you're not familiar with, is a free and open source package manager that um, basically everything in it is open source. And so I have some packages, I'm gonna install that, and a few other packages, again, this is for my son, so some useful things that you would normally want, and then there's a few little games and stuff that I'm going to install in there as well. Uh, but again, you can see it's still going, and right now we're just clearing out Amazon packages. And clearing out this stuff just makes the tablet run so much better, and it's just so junky uh, with all this stuff on there. But again, that's why you can get a nicer tablet. I mean, it's not a great tablet, again, but they can sell these for 30 to 50 bucks because they're hoping you're gonna use the Amazon services and they're gonna make up the money. So they can sell it with you know barely any markup. And so you are getting a pretty good deal if you're not using the Amazon stuff. You're, you know, so again, we're going through, we're going through. There was an error on one of them, the parental controls, that might be left on there. But again, to go through one by one and remove all of these would take you forever. So that's why we're using the little loop script there we go, that one's done. Now, if we run, again, we go back up here and we say this uh, PM list packages D will list all disabled packages. So I will go ahead and do that. And as you can see, there's a list of them now. And if we pipe that into WC L, we just disabled 122 packages that we don't need. Okay, but we're not done yet. Let's go ahead and disable, that was good, the longest one. We're gonna disable all the Kindle packages now that some might have been disabled because they had the Amazon name in there, but not all of them did. So here we go. And again, we can actually uninstall these, but there were a few that reappeared after I disabled them. Now, if we disabled all the Amazon packages, uh, if we removed all of them, maybe that would prevent them from coming back. But so they're taking up a little bit of storage, but they're not running, which is what's important. So we removed 122 before. Now, how many have we disabled? Two more. So there were there were two more in there that didn't have the Amazon name in them. Uh, again, I'm going to disable a few others here. And so these, again, are inside the text file called cleanup.txt, and you can choose which of these you want to disable and not disable. So I didn't put it as a script that you run. Um, so let's go ahead and down here say less. Uh, clean up so we can go through here and I can just copy the ones I want to disable and I can copy a bunch of them so we just did the calendar one it doesn't hurt if we uh, do a few so I'm just going to grab a few of these and then up here so again the top is the tablet the bottom down here is my desktop where I'm reading uh, the files from my package that I download my project and then these last two here are um, language packages for the keyboard I had an issue where I didn't disable this, and even though I installed another keyboard, it kept on defaulting back to a Japanese and Chinese keyboard, um, and these are Japanese packages, so I disabled that. Now, let me go ahead and turn this camera back on, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the tablet on, and I swipe up here. If I go home, there's nothing here. I can't do anything. It's trying to start, fire is starting, but nothing ever happens because we disabled the launcher. We also disabled our keyboard. So even if I come up here and go search, I, no keyboard's gonna come up. So you can't really do anything with the tablet now. So that's why you gotta make sure that you have a launcher and a keyboard if you disable them ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is back on my desktop here, I have a folder called APKs, which again, oops, CD APKs. And here are a number of APKs uh, Android packages that I like to use in F Droid. That'd be the first one you want to install. I like uh, Lawn Chair is the name of the um, launcher that I like, and uh, then AnySoft is the keyboard that I'm installing for my son. That's in here somewhere too. Um, but what I'm going to do is you can install these one by one. But if we cat out, we can cat out install APKs. You can see that basically you can say. A ADB install and the name of this APK file to install it. This is gonna run through a loop and install all of these ones because these are the ones that I want installed. You don't have to install all of them, but I'll go ahead and do that. And we're gonna get success on each one. I probably should have some more output there saying which ones it's succeeding on. Uh, so I might change that script just to um, echo out what package is being installed one at a time, but it's going in the order that they're listed there. 
And again, while that's doing that, I'm going to come up here, and again, I'm going to say um, right here, list how many we've disabled. We've disabled almost 145 uh, packages that were running on the tablet before that we do not need. All together, including the disabled ones, there's 169. So out of 169, we removed, we only have like 60 installed now, approximately, compared to how much did we say originally? A lot. So, and let's go ahead and check this. They're still installing, but if I turn the screen back on now and unlock this and hit home, there we go. So now I have the lawn chair launcher, which one of the things I like about the lawn chair launcher is uh, I can, if I want to, I could hold down on one of these and say edit. And if we focus in on that, you can actually make some of the applications invisible. So stuff that runs in the background, stuff that you don't want, or if I want something on there, but I just don't want to show up unless there, I can hide those, which is nice. So anyway, uh, all those packages installed. Uh, it looks like one failed. Oh, VLC failed. Anyway, I can always go now into F-Droid and install that. Uh, but that is the process that I go through and the notes where you can get them all. So again, I removed all the default calendars and stuff like that. I replaced most of them with, I like the project called Simple. Uh, they make a bunch of Android applications. Simple calculator, simple camera, simple clock. The only thing I don't like about it is their default icons are these ugly orange colors, but uh, most of them you can change that. If you go into the clock, which has an ugly orange theme, you can actually change the theme, and I believe it changes the color of the icon too. Um, but that's it. It runs. It doesn't have any of that Amazon. There's still only one Amazon package on there, which is like the Amazon Fire OS. And again, if you remove that, the tablet never completely boots and you're unable to actually even ADB and install stuff. So you don't want to uh, accidentally remove that. But look at the, the files again on uh, gitlab.com forward slash melix1000, my Amazon project. There should be a link in the description of this video. And that's it. Uh, and also I'll show you the keyboard, any soft keyboard. And you can pick, there's lots of open source keyboards. And go in here and I just have to enable it. But you can see there's other keyboards I've uh, disabled. Uh, those last two packages we removed were saying uh, they were language package is and on my daughter's, I did this to my daughter's tablet as well. And even though I enabled the AnySoft keyboard, it kept defaulting back to that, but in the Chinese, so her keyboard was always Chinese and anytime she restarted her, her uh, tablet. And you can go through your settings here for any soft keyboards, you know, whatever, allow it to contacts and stuff like that. But now I should be able to go in here and say search and the AnySoft keyboard comes up, which has pretty good functionality. It does uh, swipe typing. Uh, but it needs improvement. They even say that, but it works. It's just not as good as like if you've used other swipe keyboards. Anyway, this video has gone on long enough, almost 20 minutes. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And uh, again, check out the links in the description of the video to the project where I have all these notes and the files to root it and stuff. And I hope that you have a great day.